Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Welcome to Flat Earth Debate Uncut and After Show. I'm your host Nathan Oakley and if you are new to this channel or you've not done so already then be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon and join button if you'd like to become a Nathan Oakley 1980 channel member and keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you'd like to support the channel there is a super chat that runs alongside each of these shows while they are premiering. There's also a PayPal, Patreon and crypto link in the info box below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I'm going to do a quick shout out to all of you who do support me on Patreon. So a massive shout out to Abraham Mohammed, Adrian Quintana, Alistair Main, Billy Highvolt, Burn Fat till my stomach is as flat as the earth, Chow Young Cat, Dank, Dave Rakia Gafford, David Rain Foster, Edwin Johnson, Owen Jennisons, Felix Hung, Fireball X, God Rockin, Henrik 86, Journalism, Jer Joshua Balsimo, Kirsten Smith, Liam Nedrick, Life is Short, Matt, Missouri Bear, Nagara, Nathan Thompson, Nibai, Qatar Craig, Rene, Sally Ballis, Silver Umbrella, Skeptic936, Texas Mike, The Flat Earth Sun, Moon and Zodiac Clock app, The Flat Earth Channel.com, The Real Gabster, Tina Baker, Tom Hawkins, and Windrider. Now we are joined by a few people in both Discord and G, so I'll raise the mic on them and you can enjoy their dulcet tones while I set up for the next live show. And then the Nestdale Falls or the Axe Falls. I'm actually liking it, <laughs> especially because it's loud at my job, so <laughs> I don't mind the, si the silence on, on the debate, because, yeah, there's no debate anymore. It's a wrap for the globe, with your mist and your matrix and your infinite refraction. <laughs> Radio check. What up, Babs? Up chocolate. Tell brother, how are you? Good, just listening right now. Yes, yeah, a little, it's a little quiet, man. None of the, none of the boys in there want to speak up. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, man, I'm good. You can just chill. <laughs> They're just regrouping, but it's taking them a long time. Oh, I belong. That again? So it won't be long. I'm just setting up the next live show. Oh, okay. Yeah. You cut you cut chocolate off right in the middle. It's, you just went away. <laughs> hey, yeah, you just went away, dude. Come back. Titanic. Come back. I don't have a whistle. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you were talking and then you just went away, Chocolate. I did? Oh, did Nathan? Yeah, yeah. Here, in, Discord. here in Discord. Oh. Stop muttering. You, you, he was taught, you were talking and then boom, you're, everything went silent. We got oh, like to bring the, that like up the Globers? At the beginning of the show. Now I understand Discord people's complaints. And that is? That's and, and that is, well, you hear people talking on the show, right? And then it just cuts off immediately. And then you hear silence. Right? And everything goes silent. You follow me 10th. And then it's like, do, 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 do. 
Five minutes later, oh, you suddenly come back on. That's my complaint. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there, like when Zinder kept rumpusing in Discord, that affects it for sure. But when you're, what you're saying is that when nobody's talking in Discord and Nathan finishes talking, there's a, a lag? No, is that what you're that's saying? Not what I'm, that, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying oh, okay. that Nathan goes radio silent at just at a drop of a hat, just in the middle of a conversation. I don't care who's it's mainly me talking to most most times, but it was chocolate this time. Chocolate was talking that boom, nothing but silence. So I start checking my my stuff. Are my speakers working? Uh my computer, <laughs> my internet connection still on. No, it's just Nathan. He went on mute. Well, I know that earlier this morning. Uh, Nathan stated that when he goes on mute, it mutes Discord at the same time. And that's he, correct. I, yeah, so that's what happened then. And then we're we're left in trying to fill in the last words of the conversation for about five minutes, right? <laughs> we're in La La Land. <laughs> we got we we got a complaint. This is legitimate complaint. Where is he? I'm the, I think I'm he's starting the next show. I'm sat right here listening to you moan about me, but I'm setting up the next live show. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> you guys hear me? That, that's why I was moaning. Oh, uh, you're yeah, a little we, low. I always am. You have something to say? Yeah, we got an official we got an official Discord complaint. Pick it up with uh, righteous force. All right, where, and then I'll you? bring it up to Quantum Eraser. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so you're back where you started. That's circular reasoning. <laughs> That's not circular. It's linear. <laughs> that stuff is flat. Jeez, guys. You're typing uh, again, Righteous. Sorry. All right. Where, where's the, all the ballers are in the after show? <laughs> I don't know what happened to him, QE, but really? it is quite. Can you move more back? Oh, no, they're in live stream. That's fine. I panicked for a minute there. No, they're in the after show. Yeah, but they're not going to be taking part in the show then, are they? No. Well, that's fine until the after show. Not unless I, not unless I put you in the after show. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Welcome to Flat Earth Debate Live. I'm your host Nathan Oakley and if you're new to this channel or you've not done so already then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth Debate. If you'd like to support the channel there is a super chat that runs alongside each of these shows while they are live. There's also a PayPal, Patreon and crypto link in the info box below the video. Most importantly if you'd like to join the discussion simply mute the page you are currently watching then click the link in the info box below this video to join the panel and express your views on the nature of Earth. If you do join, please don't swear. If you do, you'll be ejected. And if you are, please don't try to rejoin the stream using sock accounts. You'll be warmly welcomed back on the next stream. Please also share the show on social media. Sharing the show obviously increases the live audience, but this in turn increases the chances of a more diverse panel. So please share the show on Facebook and Twitter. And one last time, if you're new to the channel or you've not done so already, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to keep up to date with the Flat Earth debate. Now, we are joined by Righteous Force, Ranty Flat Earth, Quantum Eraser, Paul Hall, Chocolate Saiyan, Arwin, and Tenth Man. Very good to have you all. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, hello. 
Good morning. But Where's that it? intro's too long, man. Oh, God. I've got a lot of information to get into that intro. It's not the same as having a load of music playing and a load of fire in the background with the Terminator robot. <laughs> wow. Share your pain. I've got a lot of information to get into my intro. We're also joined by a whole bunch of people in Discord, so hello to everyone in Discord. Hello, hello. Hello. Let's see if we can slow it down a little bit. So we're going to go through the housekeeping questions. We're just going to keep it a little bit slower. So any evidence of a physical sphere edge capable of geometric measurement? No. No. Yeah, I think both sides agree there is. I want to ponder on this for a while. So, I mean, me personally, I've spent quite a long time in this seat listening to fundamentalist religious zealots who have a globe belief telling me that boats are going over horizons and buildings in the distance are being obscured by horizons, i.e. physical edges of spheres. So why is it I ask for any evidence of a physical edge of a sphere and I'm being told no? I don't, I don't get it. Only because, I guess... The consensus is it's not. A hey, Nathan, yeah. why don't you do your little ball illustration that you did the other day? You can, you know, show on how, you know, the curvature blocks things and they, where they understand what you're talking about, maybe. I've, I've done it. I'll refer people to the video and I'll stick a link in or whatever. But yeah, I mean, it, it's very simplistic. You've got a ball, go, a, a boat going over the edge of a ball, and the top edge of the ball is blocking the bottom of the boat. That's what they claim. This picture on screen now. You know, we've had endless debates where people say the bottom of these turbines is being blocked by a physical edge of a sphere, even though you've got something that's 60 miles in the distance in the form of the Isle of Man that shouldn't be there. They still ask you why the bottoms of the turbines are being blocked by a physical edge. Well, now we've got a denial of that physical edge. It's just ridiculous. Because we've debunked it, basically. We've proved it's not a physical location. It cannot possibly be. It's a geometric impossibility. So now we're literally having people deny their own sphere geometry. Amazing. To deny it's an edge doesn't deny Yeah, they tell us spheres don't have edges. All right, what's blocking, blocking the bottom of the boat again? Silence. That's what's blocking it. The, the horizon. Yeah, the horizon claimed to be a physical edge of a sphere, capable of blocking things. No one's claimed that. Not by Zinder anymore. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Flat Earth Zinder. I mean, I, I'm guessing the Flat Earth does have a physical edge, though, yeah? No. Sorry, we're not claiming boats are being obscured by the physical edge of a Flat Earth, are we? That would be fundies, globe heads, Globers not us. claiming it's globe. Globes don't claim it's blocked by a physical edge because there are no edges on spheres. So you're saying it's not blocked by a physical edge. I take it you're a fundy. I think we all agree that it's not blocked by a physical edge. Do you think that boats go over the curve? Hold on. So, don't, don't you understand you, so you don't understand spherical geometry then? No, I do. Well, what's blocking the bottom of the boat then? I, it, Nathan. This is Nathan, right? I don't know who I'm talking to. What's blocking the bottom of the boat again? The horizon. Yeah, so the horizons claim to be something capable of blocking something else then? Uh, in non-Euclidean. Sorry, it's a physical blockage. An edge blocking something else. I'm, I can't talk. uh Louder, I'm sorry. Um, no, it's not an edge. No, we know. It's a not actual location. Welcome to Flat Earth. In your model, it has a geometric edge, though, in a sphere model. So while you might say it doesn't have an edge, no. it has geometry that is claimed to block boats from the bottom up. That would be an edge. Right, but that's... that's what do you mean, right, then? Yeah, right! Your globe model has an edge. Not, not right. Not it's yeah, the horizon. It's, it's an edge of a sphere claimed to block things. You're wrong. Your model, you don't understand yeah, geometry. Nathan. Definition of a sphere with an edge before you can claim I don't. Sorry, answer my question. What's blocking the bottom? Blocking the bottom of a boat. 
A not actual location without physicality, that would be the horizon. Or why are you talking before I finish my it's my a, question a, to you? Why are you talking before I finish my question? Is it a not actual location, an apparent position, the horizon, that blocks the bottom of the boat? Or in your model, as is absolutely and physically the case in your model, it's the edge of the sphere that blocks the boat. Which is it? One is the reification of a sphere model you believe you live on. The other is reality. So which is it? Again, we need we need a definition of... Sorry, I'm asking you a straightforward question. What's blocking the bottom of the boat? Is it the edge of the sphere or not? If it's not the edge of a sphere, because you claim you don't have one, well, then it's not the edge of a sphere blocking the bottom of a boat or blocking a building in the distance or blocking a lighthouse or a, a, a light or anything else that we don't see, according to you, is apparently blocked by the edge of the Earth, the sphere Earth, the bit we can't see past, the edge. Now you're denying that edge, and I want to know why. That's your model. It's the geometry of your model. So you're denying your own geometry. Again... I can't deny geometry that doesn't exist. Give me a definition of a sphere with an edge. Give me you, I've just given it you. The boat reaches the top. You can see all of it. And then when it goes beyond the top edge, you can't see it. This isn't complicated. It's what you guys have argued here for the last three years. About your bloody model blocking stuff. No. Do you mean no? Yeah. I've got over a thousand examples of it. You fundy fuckwits coming here telling me the edge of the sphere is blocking a boat. Now you're saying it doesn't have edges because we've debunked it. Again, give me a definition of a geometric sphere with an edge. Why? It's not my fucking claim. It's not my claim. It's not my claim. Why am I defining your bloody religious belief? You define it. It's not either. It's not our claim. We don't claim sphere. Oh, really? So I haven't got a thousand examples of fundies who tell me that this line on screen for the audience right now is the edge of the sphere blocking the north end of the Isle of Man. That wasn't a claim that's been made here. Every single picture that we have on this show that goes in front of the audience has had a claim from a fundy globehead that the edge of the sphere is blocking something in the distance. What's your problem? My problem is that spheres don't have edges. If you want to talk about the geometrical horizon, sure. The geometric horizon? So that would be the edge of the sphere? <laughs> nope. If you can provide a definition, then we can agree on that. But in the, the part that blocks the boat, according to your model. According to what a sphere would do in physicality if something went past the edge of it. Nathan, I just there dropped two no photos in, uh, in the Discord live stream that demonstrates what we're talking about. Can you bring them up on screen so you can show them the audience, please? I, I don't really yeah, understand I why we're now arguing about the geometry that has been claimed for thousands of shows to be blocking things in the distance. Geometric horizon. That would be a physical horizon. Geometric. It is physical. It's geometric. No, it's not, you fucking moron. It's a not actual location that moves with the weather. It's definitely not physical, or it wouldn't be on these oil rigs in the Black Swan picture. It can't be physical because it wouldn't be moving. Nathan, can you approach an edge? As also claimed by Zinder today. All right, on screen sharing. Nathan, uh, can okay. you approach a physical edge? Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Eventually reach it? Righteous has got it on screen. Check out the live stream. This is the edge blocking something behind it. Physical. Now, this edge in physicality can't be up here. If it's a physical geometric edge, it can't be a but. Can you stop changing your, your screen, please, Righteous? <laughs> Sorry. You can't have this physical sphere edge with its physical geometry being up here. Being up here would debunk that it's a sphere edge. But it's definitely an edge. And this thing behind it, if it's physical, is behind that edge. 
that you're denying, you moron. There's also a definition. That hold on, hold on, hold on, righteous. Plan. Hold on, righteous. Just put, just put your picture, picture back on. Can you see the live stream, my friend? There's your edge. You stupid dick. You're going to deny that your we sphere's not got an real. edge? We it's this, this little ornament's behind the edge. You stupid dick. Deny it all you like. Your globe reification has an edge for boats to go over, as exampled here. This is your edge. Incapable of being up here. Not possible. Geometrically. Not physical, as demonstrated in our images. So, no, you're right, mate. You don't have a physical sphere edge. That's not what the horizon is. It doesn't have geometry. Clearly, you don't even understand what geometry is. Or you wouldn't say a sphere doesn't have an edge when it's on screen for everybody to see the physical geometric edge blocking something behind it. Moron. You're going to respond, you I'm stupid going idiot. Mathematic books right now, and spheres don't have it. Got a picture on screen. I don't need your definition. It's on screen. Can you not see? You're looking Are you blind? Are you blind? Nathan. Are you blind? Don't keep saying Nathan over and over again. What's this on screen? Not an edge? Shit for brains. Is this not an edge blocking something behind it? Hello! You stupid fundy moron. You've now got to deny your edge. Because we've debunked it. That's why you're denying the edge that's physically being displayed on screen for an audience. You're denying that edge, saying it doesn't have one. Well, what the hell is this? If it's not an edge, you stupid retard. Would you like to insult or would you like... Yo, fuckwit, with a brain the size of a pea, it's on screen the very thing your fuckwit pea-sized brain is denying. The edge! So what are you going to do? Say my name again, you stupid bitch. Say my name, bitch. Why you deny the edge that's being shown to the audience? Stupid moron that doesn't understand geometry. Yeah, there's your edge. Deny it again, you stupid dick. Hello? You said we haven't got an edge on a sphere. There it is. Are you retarded? It's on screen, you stupid retard. Yeah, that's... Hello? Speak up. Maybe he's just blind. Maybe he's not stupid. He's, I've asked maybe him that. He's just literally I've asked him blind. that, Arwin. Are you blind? It's on screen. The thing you're saying the sphere doesn't have. A fucking edge. As being demonstrated now. So no edge. Look, you claim to know geometry, but you can... It's on screen, you stupid retard! The edge you're denying is on screen! That doesn't change the fact that there is no definition of... I don't give a fuck what the definition says. It's on screen. It's a physical demonstration, not a definition. Do you not know the difference between demonstration and definition? Are you really this stupid? There's a demonstration you of the your best. denied edge on screen now. No one's saying spheres can't block objects, but it's... Ah, oh, red herring. Oh, sorry. Someone's saying spheres can't block objects. No, it must block objects if it's a physical sphere. Must. Isn't, in the black swan image, the horizon moves with the weather. But not a physical edge of a sphere, then. There are no physical edges of spheres. What the fuck's on screen, you stupid retard? Hello? Are you so stupid that you will continually deny the evidence of your own eyes while we debunk the fact that what is on screen is your claim to be geometric edge of a sphere with something being blocked by it? Very much something behind the edge of a sphere that you're denying. Now, that's what your horizon is claimed to be if Earth is your sphere model. It isn't. It can't be. It's a not actual location that moves with weather. Unlike a geometric sphere edge that you're denying and is on screen. Because you don't understand geometry, you're a retard, and you appreciate that your horizon sphere edge is definitely not a physical edge.
Nathan, if I may for a second, maybe yeah. I can approach it slightly different. Okay, buddy, when you look at a sphere you're holding in your hand, right? And you're looking past it. What is it you're looking at geometrically of the sphere? When you look past it, the side of it, what do you call that? If not an edge. You're looking at the geometric horizon of the sphere. Which no, is an intersection no, of the no. That's not what happens when you look past an, an actual physical of those sphere. Straight lines from the eye. I'm sorry, was I? I was asking about geometry, not horizon. Horizon does not fall under geometry. What do you call it? What the yes it does? When you look shut past up, Arwen. It, what do you call that geometrically? Shut up. Just shut up. Geometric horizon, Arwen. What do you mean the horizon doesn't fall under geometry? What kind of fucking what are you smoking today? What are you talking about? The picture Horizon that was on screen. An effect, right? Oh, is a visual effect. Let me explain effect. this. Owen, I'll try to explain. What's on screen is a picture of a geometric horizon. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can see past the tangent to the. No, so there's there a sphere. Is a there's a, no, we can't. There's a sphere edge in the way. The edge of the sphere blocks our view. <laughs> No such thing as a sphere. What's blocking the view? What's what's my pointer pointing at? What's this thing beyond? Would it be the edge? Yeah, it would be, yeah. That would be accurately describing this geometric horizon and the thing beyond it. What's it beyond? Well, it's beyond the edge. I'm pointing at it now with my mouse pointer. That would be the edge, which we can't see beyond. It's an edge. You don't have to like it. You can deny it all you like. You can now claim that it's a not actual location. Did I tell you before that they, they would get very triggered by us calling this their edge? Hold on to that. So I didn't know there was such a thing as a geometric horizon that it was even a word. Paul, can you ask him the question in regards to the black swan image? Go ahead. You there, Paul? I can't talk at the moment, sorry. No I can't talk about anyone else I have to call. No worries. QE, are you so, there? So, so, hold on a second. So, Arwen, you, didn't, you don't even realize the geometric horizon is even a word. But where have you been the past fucking week? You're really distorted, QE. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, and loud Arwen. and in a bad mood, and you need to get some breakfast. Arwen, I'm in a bad What's mood. You? No, you're a moron. Yeah. We've been oh, talking about geometric am I? Am I now? for the past week. Oh, really? Go ahead. Show him the photo, Nathan. See if he gets it. Now, we, we were talking about the difference between the horizon as the visual effect, right? And what global You said there was no geometric horizon. Edge, you you said there was no geometry with the horizon. That's what you said. Well, with the visuals... The visual is visual. You said there was no ge ge there was no horizon ge geometry, right? That's what you but said. But the, uh, the, the visual horizon, that part, yeah, there's oh no geometry. Oh, my God. Have you ever heard of the geometric horizon? Well, that's not the horizon now, is it? Yeah. On their sphere, there is a geometric horizon. Right, but it's not the horizon, so there is no geometrical oh aspect God, about on. the horizon. I wasn't talking about the geometrical horizon, John, you moron. Uh, no need, no listen need. Listen to people, moron. No need, right, yeah. Arwen's saying we don't have a geometric horizon in our actuality. On their model, they have a geometric horizon. We're debunking it being a geometric horizon. That's Arwen's point. So he's half right, you're half wrong, QE, sorry. Defend yourself, Arwen. Oh, Defend my yourself. God. Yeah, your God. Yeah, call out to your God because you got it wrong. The, the point being made between these two at the moment is that Arwen saying we don't have, that means in our reality, we don't have a physical sphere edge. We don't have a geometric horizon. That's Arwen's point. QE saying in their model, and that's the current argument with this chap in Discord, he's denying that he has a geometric edge. Right. And, I, and what I said, and John misheard me, obviously, 
is that the horizon, the horizon, not the geometric horizon, the horizon, the visual, is not geometrical. It has yeah. nothing to do with geometry. Correct. That's our argument. Effect. Yes, yes, Arwen, you're correct. That's our argument. It's not a geometric edge. Correct. He made reference that the horizon blocked the boats, and then he said it's non-Euclidean math. Can he elaborate what he means by that? We get an elaboration from the chap in Discord. Uh, I don't know if you're talking to me. Yes, I think he is. Oh, was that me? Non-Euclidean is basically just anything but... Anything but what? what? Is he wanted is to know the definition of non-Euclidean. Is... That's any geometry that isn't two-dimensional or Euclidean. Is... In technical terms, if, like, for example, a hill would obstruct something, would literally be in the way of something for somebody else to see, would you call that a horizon or would you just call that a physical obstruction? I, I, you see, for me, the horizon has always been that thing at the very far end of our vision, as it were. And I, I don't see any other application, really, that makes sense of the word Oh, yeah, then you get the event horizon. It, I guess that this, <laughs> people love to use those types of words wherever they can. I think Arwen, I was in the middle of a point with him. Go ahead, Tenth Man. I didn't hear Thank you, sir. So you're saying that you're using non-Euclidean geometry. And what purpose does it serve when you use it concerning the horizon? You elaborate. Well, if you're using Euclidean geometry, then you are basically on a flat plane. And at that point, you shouldn't see things like, for example, Polaris approaching. However, on Euclidean geometry, that's or non-Euclidean geometry, that's not the case. As you approach or recede from a point, uh, the angle will diminish and shrink depending on where you are based on your so curve, angle, anything. So the only the only reason things disappear is I'm on the sphere and it's curving, but you do not give any precedence to perspective and how our eyes work. Sure we do, but like sunsets. Uh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, your mathematics works in an orthographic view that removes all aspects of perspective. That's incorrect. Clearly, you don't understand your mathematics. I do. You can't have a sunset. No worries. On a Show me an orthographic view how it accounts for perspective, please. Sure, uh, your sun is parallel to the flat plane, hence you can't have two. You don't know the definition of show. Show! Can you show me how perspective well, is included in an orthographic I can, representation? I can explain please. it to you auditorily. But auditorily, you're a knucklehead. Hold on, Kiwi. That's all you are. Your, your ball's dead. Where's your geometric horizon at one foot elevation? Let's come on to that. Hold on a second. So, um, what's your name? Sorry, guy in Discord. Oh, Nid. Newt, did you say? Oh. He got better. Yeah. Hold on, guys. So y you appreciate that a physical sphere Earth must have a geometric horizon, correct? I know yep. I'm really low. I can't do anything. Just try it once more. You appreciate that... A physical sphere Earth must have a geometric horizon. That, that is... Once more. He said yes. He said yes. Okay. Can you see the live stream? I, I cannot. I'm That's sure. okay. I got him, Nathan. I got the picture in Discord. Can you see Discord live stream? Uh, I'm in the live stream Discord. Yeah. Can you see? I just posted Quantum Eraser right there. Stick on that post. It says, but it says, bye bye ball. Go ahead, Nathan. 
uh, if the horizon is a physical geometric edge of a ball, then according to this image, that geometric edge is beyond 10 miles, when according to the mathematics of the sphere, it can't be, even if you accounted for this observation being at five foot, more than two and a half miles away. So how do you explain this? Oh, I'm not supposing that there's an edge to a sphere, first of all. He didn't ask but you that. Second, not what I asked. Well, you're asking You've already a conceded. You've already conceded that. that. You've already question. conceded that. Why are you doubling down on something you've just conceded 30 seconds ago? I asked you to concede that I a sphere that globe must edges. have a geometric edge, and you said yes. You did not say that. You said if there's a geometric Breaking up, mate. I can't hear what you're saying. I will agree that there is... I will agree there's a geometric horizon. I will not agree it's an edge because it is not geometrically. We can get around the edge for you. Now, answer his question. Why is that geometric horizon supposed to be... We put it at five feet. He was actually one foot, but we're going to give you five feet. The geometric horizon should be 2.73 miles... And it's well beyond 9.41 miles. Can you explain that? To my knowledge, that is uh, possible with refraction. The wrong list the five effects of refraction. Well, I cannot. Because you don't know what refraction is. Sorry, hold on, QB. You just said it's possible with refraction, did you not? Why, why would you say that it's possible with refraction? And then when asked what refraction is, you don't know. Why would you throw that out there then? <laughs> oh, I know I know refraction is... Oh, really? What's refraction? Of light no, you know refraction. refraction. No but problem. I Let's move on from there. You know refraction. What are the effects of refraction? Go. Again, the angle of light can... What are the five effects of refraction? You're not answering the question. I you said you know, know refraction. The That's the then the five effects of refraction. Yeah, what are they? <laughs> Told you they don't know. <laughs> uh, hold on, QE. What are they? You said I know refraction. What are they? What are the five effects? I do know how. Ref what are the five effects? Let's see. You can have you can have uh, refraction diffusion depending on how the light hits. Refraction the diffusion. You can have deflection, or excuse me, reflection. That's not you the five effects of refraction. You're it's a moron. There seems That's to reflection. be some refraction confusion here. Yeah, yeah. Reflection's not refraction. Oh. You don't know what refraction. You don't. Know Why are you claiming refraction when you don't know what it is? Because I know it's. Re <laughs> because he knows it's refraction. Because I right? know. You don't know. You know it's refraction, but you don't know what refraction is. <laughs> He knows, he knows it, but he doesn't know I what. I explained refraction as a light. No, you haven't. You said it was reflection. That's wrong. So you're stupid and wrong. No, you haven't explained refraction. We've asked you what the five effects are, and one of the ones you listed was reflection. No, that's something else. You're wrong. Moron. Stupid. Don't know what you're claiming. I've said refraction. A word you don't understand. My question, why are you claiming refraction when you don't know what it is? I, again, I do know what No, you don't. Um, We've just demonstrated you haven't got the slightest clue what refraction is. You said reflection. That's not refraction. They're different things. You do not know what refraction is, or you'd list the effects of it. When you have light and it passes from a medium to another, you have... And the effect is... This guy. And the effect is... Go ahead, Nathan, sorry. What's the effect, then? Just describe the mechanism. What's the effect? It apparently brings the horizon up over. <laughs> no, that's not effect of refraction. That's wrong. You've just made that up. Pulled it out of your ass. No, that's not an effect of refraction. The Citation, light, please. The light bends Citation, please, you Citation, stupid dick. Citation. Show me a citation. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
You've just said refraction is an effect that brings the horizon up. Now I want a citation. Go. R refraction bends. Not another verbal explanation from you. A citation. Do you know what a citation is, moron? I do. Hyperphysics. Get one. Five, now. Astro, Get one. Edu. Get one. Post it in live stream. I'm not able to do that. Currently. Well, then shut up. You don't know what refraction is. You've said it's reflection. That's wrong. Then you've described the mechanics of what you believe refra refraction is using. You haven't described the effect. You've merely described your get out for your religion breaking, moving the horizon. When in reality, so, all the refractive effects so are described with respect to the horizon. So you can't get me a citation to back that shite you just pulled out of your ass. Because you pulled it out of your ass. I just told you, go to hyperphysics. Go to hyperphysics. Post it. Post not, it no, then. That's not our job. Post it then. Okay, well, it's not my job either. Yeah, it is. You're making the claim, you stupid burden of proof reversal fallacy using moron. Your claim, your citation. I'm not going to look for it for you. Do you not think it's refraction? Is that <laughs> uh, you're making moron. that claim. You said it's refraction that solves this problem we've asked you about. I'm not claiming anything. You are. Now get us a citation for the total bollocks you've just spewed about stuff you don't understand. Atmospheric. atmospheric citation. Hyperphysics, you said. Where's the citation? Has he posted it yet? Or is he still babbling without citing anything? He's still babbling. Citation, dickhead. Citation. Now. I told you. Don't tell me. Cite it. Oh, he's told me. So he is a moron and doesn't understand what a citation is. I don't want you to tell me. I want you to cite it. Does hyperphysicist stand for a Again. physicist on meth or something? Have you cited it yet? Have you given me a definition of a... I'm not, I'm not explaining this picture with refraction. You are. That's called a burden of proof reversal fallacy. So you're going to get on with it or use more fallacy? Moron. Slow, stupid, using fallacy, doesn't understand what refraction is, thinks it's reflection. Moron, get us a citation for your complete bollocks. Post it in live stream, have you? Hello? Have you posted That's a it? whole source. Which one are you talking about? Oh dear. He doesn't know what a citation is. No, he doesn't. Wow. Hello, moron. We asked you for a citation and you've posted an entire source. I take it you were not university educated. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Did my definition? I'm I'm of I'm asking if you are or are not university educated, given that you don't know the difference between a source and a citation. I can cite a website as a source. Uh, as a source, a you complete fucking clown. That's not a citation. That's a source. You moron. You're just stupid, poorly educated, and don't know the difference between a citation and a source. Nathan, I posted the master. What he, what the source he posted, I posted it in Master B. Have a little look. The British Astronomical Association. You understand that this is a source and not a citation, clown. Sh essay. Yoo hoo. Yeah. Do you know the difference between a citation and a, and a reference? That That's rhetorical, by the way, because you're a moron. So, which, oh, uh, where are hurt. the effects of refraction here? I don't see them. What are the five effects of refraction? Give us one at least. So I'm just reading through your source, and it doesn't say about the horizon moving. 
It's talking about things moving with respect to the horizon. Yep. You said it, that, that refraction moved the horizon. That's not what this is saying. You're wrong. Your citation backs our claim, not yours. Things are moving with respect to the horizon this, in this in this source. No, no, in the source, not his citation. He didn't give us a citation. We had to go search for it. Yeah, I'm looking through the source at horizon where it specifically mentions horizon. horizon. Talking about things happening with respect to the horizon. A variety of altitudes above the horizon. That's what it says. So it's with respect to the horizon, not the horizon being loomed or refracted. Why have you given us this? This is not what you have claimed. This is exactly what I've claimed. What are you? <laughs> Sorry, you said He's the horizon delusional. could be loomed. That's not what this is saying. N nowhere in this does it say that. Oh, he cited it, but he didn't read it. Did you read this? Yes, it's atmospheric. <laughs> yes, I, I know what it's detailing. You specifically said that the answer to our image that we've asked you to explain, where the horizon has moved, and you said the horizon has moved because of refraction, then you've given us this shite that does not say that. I'm asking if you've read it because it does not say what you pulled out your ass. It doesn't back you in any way. Hello, essay. I, every I every mean, single every single to you, reference it's to the horizon in this source is talking about things moving with respect to it, not it moving. That's what you claimed. You're wrong. Just gone through the whole citation and looked at every single place it said horizon. Hello, shithead. You're wrong. This citation, this source, does not back your claim at all. Does, but no, it doesn't. I've just it. read it on screen for the audience to see, and it does not. When you when you calculate how far you can see you down through the shut horizon, up, I'm going to shut him up. Yeah, what the fuck does this <laughs> have to do him. with the horizon <laughs> moving in the black swan image? What you now babbling on with a bit of word salad about what you think refraction is, having given us a source that you haven't read and doesn't back your claim and doesn't disprove the picture that's a very real problem for a geometric horizon. You haven't explained any of that. It's not a problem at all. Yeah, it is. You've got a geometric horizon in the wrong fucking place, and your answer to that is refraction, and refraction doesn't do that. Big problem. Long pause. You know, uh, is that Bob the pseudo-science fallacy guy? I have no idea. I'm going to do a few shout-outs. So shout-out to God's Scalpel for the Super Chat. This is a very edgy show today. Right on, God's God Scalpel. Thank you very much for the Super Chat. Also, Rob L says, well done, Flat Earth Debate. Thank you very much for your support. And also, woo-woo, Red Pill Philosophy. Uh, globs lack basic education. It's so dumb and sad. Right on. Thank you very much, everybody, for the Super Chats. Ah, uh, shout-out to Red Pill. Uh on BitChute. He's on BitChute does, these days. Check him out. Does he sound like... Does this guy sound like uh, the pseudoscience fallacy guy, Bob? Is that who this is? Is that Bob? Nah. Nah, it doesn't sound like It's him. not? Not to me, anyway. Okay. But I, I didn't think it did, but okay. who, who cares? Uh, do you want to continue to talk to him? Because he's, he's a uh, demonstrated moron. We want to do this? Okay, might have something to add. We've got one, two housekeeping questions out of the way. Somebody took him off mute. Who took him off mute? Me. <laughs> okay. No, I think he's so done. Anyways, I guess the because specific refraction. He's not making any sense. That you're looking. Oh, you're he back. said it's looming, Nathan. The horizon can't loom. You can't loom the horizon <laughs> above the horizon. I don't know. I'm still stuck on the whole citation oh, okay. he used. Not okay. That's your argument. So not okay. You can make a claim that doesn't make. Yeah, you've made <laughs> a claim. You're not making the claim. You've made a claim that the horizon's looming. 
So the horizon is looming above the horizon. With respect to the horizon, you've got a horizon. This is nonsense. <laughs> Hello? Nonsense, mate. Doesn't back your bullshit and doesn't explain the picture we've shown that debunks the globe's sphericity. It having a geometric edge that blocks things. That's not the case. It, it moves with the weather. A geometric edge. Yeah. No, not a geometric edge. As demonstrated by the picture you failed to explain by saying reflections. Oh, my bad. I mean refraction that you don't know what it is. You haven't explained this or debunked it. It's a very real problem. It doesn't work geometrically with your model. Yep. Why All your you remarks and your claims are not part of the citation you gave us. It's not in there. So you're just talking out of your ass right now. You're making it you up. You didn't give a citation. You have no source for it. A source. He yeah. didn't give a citation. You have a big full exactly. source. He gave a source, but it's not even in the source. The what he's saying. Yeah, not even on the source that I had to go through and then ask him if he'd even read it because nothing in it backed what he'd just claimed. So he's just made a baseless assertion and thrown out a random source to back it that doesn't back it. So it's just a lie. Yeah. Hey, Nathan, is looming atmospheric refraction? Looming would be an effective refraction, yeah. Oh. Define it. What's looming? <laughs> Define it, crayon muncher. Yeah, we've said looming is one of the five effects. Took long enough for you to get to one of them. It is. It's a it is, yeah. Phenomenon. So what is it? What's looming? So do you want to define it? What's looming? It allows you to see the apparent elevation of distant objects that is normal. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Below it. So is the horizon here appearing above the horizon? Sorry, do you want to do you want to say that again? So things distant objects being moved with respect to the horizon. So not the horizon moving with respect to the horizon, then my friends. That's double speak gibberish. Nonsense. Horseshit. Ouch. Incoherent garbage from you. Increases increases apparent elevation of distant objects and sometimes allows you to see those objects normally located Where? under that's right. Not the horizon. It's so, objects, not the horizon. The horizon doesn't loom, you fruitcake. Yeah, they're moving above with respect to the horizon. Not the horizon. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. So you said the horizon was looming, you complete fucking moron. And you'd be wrong. The horizon can't loom above the horizon. You are moronic. And your citation didn't back that either. Source. No. Yeah. Like I said. Yeah. Like Bob, you, you fucking retard. Up That's who you are. Apparent elevation. This is Bob, apparent the pseudoscience elevation. fallacy guy. How do you know that? Who cares? If yeah, it is? it's him. Who cares? Yeah. Anyways, I. I yeah, have it doesn't matter. No, nah, it's not him. He he sounds a lot more squirrely than this guy. Well, who cares? You just define looming as distant objects that sometimes allows an observer to see those objects that are located below the horizon. So, in this photo, you're saying the horizon is loomed above the horizon. No, I'm saying... Yes, you are. You just are don't know what you're saying. Looming doesn't involve the horizon. It involves objects. Are we not referring to the objects? No, no. we're referring to no. the horizon, dipshit. So you never you don't even to know the that. question. What's the argument brought against you? Do you, do you know that? <laughs> yes, you're saying that's impossible to see beyond. No, that's not the argument brought against you. You're a fucking idiot. Let me tell so you what the argument is against you. Shouldn't be able to see. Let me tell you what the argument is against you. If the Earth is a sphere with a radius of 3959 miles P, then any horizon distance measurement must be no more than 1.225 times the square root of the observer's height in feet. Q, that's the geometric horizon. Not Q, the horizon distance is greater than 9.41 miles. See the photo I gave you. Therefore, not P, the Earth is not a sphere. That's the argument. Yeah, that's great, but we're not talking about the horizon actually being 9.4. It, yeah, it's, we that's are. exactly what we're talking about. 
yet you don't want to talk about it. We are very specifically talking about just that. And what happens when you change your observer height? Does it maintain 9.4? Uh, sorry, this picture isn't movable in that regard. Now, not only is it not movable, but the video contained him moving to a higher elevation and the same exact effect happened. So, who yeah. cares? So, who cares? Well, it matters if you want to actually know. The sorry, <laughs> hey, buddy, sorry. Buddy, we know the, the guy in the retard. video... There's a video of the guy moving to a higher location, right? A higher observer height, and the horizon is still behind the oil rigs. Definitely okay. not a geometric horizon, then, eh? Couldn't possibly be. It's a geometric impossibility to be. Yeah, brother. Problem. To say that denies that there is atmosphere. So we've already <laughs> taken a giant steaming shit on your crap source that didn't back the horizon looming above the horizon, which is double speak nonsense. So what, are you going to keep no appealing to it like a circle jerker? Uh, excuse so me, circle jerker. Circle jerker. Yeah, you've already said that and we've debunked it. So what, are you going to use it again, rinse and repeat style? Like we didn't hear it? Like we're deaf? No, we're not. We heard. We've debunked it. Nathan. I haven't said that. You put those words. Yeah, you say my name, you bitch. Keep saying Nathan to buy yourself a bit of time when I shit all over your claim that it's atmospheric refraction looming the horizon above the horizon. No, it's not. So let's not circle no, jerk back to that, that for the third time, please. Again, you can debunk your own claims that I've made all you want. That won't. No, we're debunking the globe. Not your claim. You're just a fucking retard. You're a nobody retard. We don't care about your claims. The Earth, on the other hand, is claimed to be a sphere with a geometric edge. And it isn't. We're debunking it. You're just not doing a very job of good job of defending it. That's all that's happening here. Yeah, next time, don't use sources you haven't read yet. It's just yeah, good idea. idiotic. Shout out to Unitox Femu, who says the horizon is moving faster than Earth. What's his name? Unitox Femu, he also says, Niddy Hug, I am starting to looming after your story. Not just the name, you got it right once. See, a little practice. Yeah, I've said it several times off air. <laughs> yeah, thanks to him, Super Chat donating. Yeah, definitely. Thank you very much, Unitox Femu. So beyond refraction, which definitely doesn't address this problem, is there any other rebuttals to why your geometric sphere edge is in the wrong place? There are no geometric sphere edges. Would you like to cite me a source? Yeah, because we don't cite you a source. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can cite you a source. No worries. Hold on. I'll just reduce my picture and show you a picture of the Isle of Man, debated on by multitudes of globe heads. And this line... It's absolutely unequivocally claimed by them to be a physical edge obscuring the land in the distance. That's what they claim it is. This is claimed to be the edge of a sphere. Yeah, I've got literally hundreds of examples where fuckwit fundies just like you tell us that it's a physical edge blocking shit in the distance. Now you can deny it because we've debunked it. It's not a geometric edge. It's not physical. It's not blocking jack. It's not a sphere. Now, beyond refraction, have you any rebuttal? Nathan, Nathan, I think he meant no, any source for that. Source it is the official story. A sphere is an edge. Right. I would like a citation for a definition of a sphere. You don't know what a citation is. Sure, yeah, I do. you don't know what a citation no, is. No, you don't. I tell you what, to, I, I tell you what, you I'll send you, you We asked you to post a citation. You gave us a source. Yeah, it's yeah, in wiki. Uh, go and look it up. It's in wiki. Oi, I'm giving you a source like you gave me. It's in wiki. Go look. All right. Okay. Yeah, it and shouldn't take you long. Says a sphere has an yeah, I've shown it physically on this stream to my audience. I've made multiple videos about your denial, Fundy Globehead denial, of the very edge they claimed were blocking things in previous arguments. Now you come along and start denying it. Oh, no, we don't have an edge. What the fuck is blocking the buildings in your imagination land of sphere then? A not edge. 
it's geometric uh, horizon. Let me, let me, let me. Yeah, the horizon you, you claim is a geometric edge. Have I actually claimed well, that? You, well, you are guys... a fucking nobody. I don't give a shit what you as an individual claim. You're a nobody. I don't give a shit. I haven't even got your real name. I don't care what your argument is. The globe is definitely claimed to have an edge. You don't have to like it. Are you arguing with me or are you arguing with random people that you think... I'm arguing with the globe. You're defending it, you stupid shithead. Don't you even know what this is? Your position is Earth is a sphere. Now, that's a standard rhetoric that I don't need you to understand. I can defend my position that it isn't without you having an understanding of it, with you denying the physical geometric edge. Yeah, you can deny your own religion, doesn't change the religion, and I can still argue against it without you understanding it, or understanding geometry, or understanding refraction, or thinking it's reflections. Yet yeah, all those stupid shit, nonsense comments that you've made are totally irrelevant to your actual religion that you don't understand. I don't need you to make the claim. You're an idiot. Spheres do not have edges, so it's not my claim, nor any Glober's claim. Even. Oh, really? So 3959 radius, that's not a claim of the globe. The model having obscured things in the distance, that's not a claim of the globe. Boats going over the edge, that's not a claim of the globe. Seeing an edge from 80,000 feet, that's not a claim of the globe. Because you haven't claimed it. You're a fucking moron. No one's claimed there's an edge. You can have a radius and not have an edge. You're talking yeah, you've got an edge that's blocking boats and blocking buildings and being able to be seen from 80,000 feet, according to you and your fucking religion. I'm sorry, are you saying a horizon equals... I'm saying that you fundies who think you live on a globe think you've got a physical edge to block stuff in the distance. That's a fact. You don't have to like it, even though you're now denying it. We think there's a... We th yeah, you think there's an edge blocking stuff. I've run this debate for over two years. I know precisely what you think. You fundies think you've got an edge blocking stuff. The fact that you've come here now denying it is hysterical. No, you claim we have an edge blocking it. We say there's a... G oh, I claim the sphere edge is blocking stuff in the distance, do I? No, no I don't, you moron. Well, I definitely claim don't so claim that. Excuse me. No, I don't claim boats get blocked by a physical edge of a sphere. That's definitely not my claim. It's your claim that you're now denying and I'm having to educate you about your own religion. It's not my claim. It's your claim you're denying. Do you believe spheres have edges? I believe you have a model that is presupposed to block things from bottom up based on its physical edge. That's not my question. Answer my That's question. not what your question is. I don't give a shit. We've got a standardised claim of sphericity. Not you. I don't care about you. You're a moron. I'm not asking about me. I'm asking about you. What is your definition of a sphere? Does it include... I haven't got a definition for my sphere. I don't think I live on a sphere because the geometric edge can't move. Well, spheres cannot be, uh, we don't own spheres. There's a general standard model of what a sphere is. We don't live on models. That's a reification. Standard policy. model. Yeah, we don't live on models. That's... Good Lord. We what don't live on a model. Geometric <laughs> we don't live on a model. What's your rebuttal to that? No one claims we live. No one claims we live on a model. What is Yeah, your... you do. You claim we live on a sphere and your model is a sphere. What is the definition of it? Excuse me. I've asked if you've got a reification fallacy rebuttal. Have you got one? You said nobody says we live on a sphere. Yeah, absolutely. The heliocentric model. The heliocentric model. Does it's claimed to be our reality. You stupid shit for brains. I know that now we're debunking you left, right and centre. You deny, deny the very essence of your own religion. Your religion is the earth is sphere shaped. Like your model. We don't live on a model. Any you rebuttal? Spheres have edges. It's very simple. Oh, back to the spheres don't have edges, stupid shit for brains. I'm asking you about your reification of a model. Any rebuttal to you that? You haven't answered my question. When you do, I'll answer I'll that. ask the question, shit for brains. I run the show. Your questions are irrelevant. You're a shit for brains, fucked hard nobody. So I take Well, notice he's, he's got to stick to this edges. because there's no response for why the horizon is where it is. So that's the problem. <laughs> Kind of funny, actually. 
what are the ships going over when they disappear bottom up? Again, Nathan, do you believe No, no, no. no. What Answer are his the question. Ships going over when Answer his question. Bottom up? He said, what is he going over? What are the boats going over when they disappear bottom up? Geometric horizon. The ge so a physical sphere edge. As demonstrated on the show. I've answered. Your turn, Nathan. Do you believe... Yeah, you just said it. Geometric horizon. Yeah, we don't have a geometric That's horizon in reality, about. though. In reality, we have a horizon which is a not actual location that moves with the weather. Definitely not a geometric horizon. He does. In reality, you can answer whether a sphere has... A we just answered you. You say it again, I'm going to kick your ass out of here. Again, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking. I'm talking to you, you fuckwit. Okay, do you believe spheres? Shut the fuck up. Do we believe spheres That's of edges? All for him. We've demonstrated it. I've demonstrated it on multiple examples on separate videos on this show. Yeah? A, an actual sphere would necessitate an actual edge to block stuff. That's not what we have in reality. You know what? Fuck him. He's not hearing it either. And with that, I'm going to say, if you are watching this on the Nathan Oakley 1980 premiering stream, then stay tuned, as there will be an after show to follow. Unfortunately, if you're watching this live on the Nathan Oakley channel, then this is where we bid you farewell. A huge, massive, enormous thank you to all of you who smashed the super chat, liked, commented, shared, subscribed, and all that good stuff. Be sure to check out NathanOakley.com and the Flat Earth Debate Forum to keep up to date with the community debate. Stay tuned if you're watching on Nathan Oakley 1980, and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! $3,000 a month. Every fucking month they pump money into these guys. The only thing they have to do is to live there as a tribe and not kill each other and to grow food, okay? The only thing it was required for them to feed themselves. And guess what? All of them failed. So no equality. What about globe heads? Who, no. who is that? What's going on? <laughs> uh, TikTok got... was talking about uh, I'm, I'm, I was talking yeah, about Yeah, we don't care what TikTok's talking about. We're in the show now. TikTok. Uh, what what useless topic are we talking about today? TikTok. Yeah, we're useless topic. Yeah, that's correct. Your fairy tale sphere. So, do you under understand the we're argument that's sphere. brought against you? Rapper, do you understand the argument? I'm not talking to you guys. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, then, then you can leave then. Then why are you here? <laughs> you are talking to us. You're literally wrong in that very sentence. Oh, you are literally, literally talking to us. That's wrong. That's an incorrect statement. That's all right. He's really not here. I just helped him out. One so now statement. he's actually really not here. <laughs> I'm not talking to you guys. Yeah, you are. In order to convey that information, you had to say it to me. I'm not talking to you guys while talking to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> they were just having a chat in the after show while we were in the live stream. I'm not talking to you guys. <laughs> right on, Elvis. <laughs> and I'm not replying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to you guys. Hey, so, Nathan, okay, we let's were see wondering... if I could... Hold on a second. We were wa... Let's see if we can get a baller. Hold on a second, 10th. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh, I love you, QB. Literally said I'm not I know talking you to you guys after you, were, after you asked this que the question, QB. I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear. So, as soon as you asked him the question, do you understand the charge that's against the globe? That was when he said, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> What is, what is the charge? Excellent. Say again? 
What is the charge against the globe? The charge against the globe is a modus tollens argument. If P, then Q. Not Q, therefore not P. If the Earth is a sphere with a radius of 3959 miles, P, mm -hmm. then any horizon distance measurement and every horizon distance measurement must be no more than 1.225 times the square root of the observer's height in feet, Q. So not Q, because we have a horizon distance greater than 9.41 miles, therefore not P, i.e. the Earth is not a sphere. And here is the evidence in live stream for you right now. There it is. Would you like to hear my greatest argument for that? Yeah. No, we, we want to hear your rebuttal to why the geometric horizon is behind platform habitat at 9.41 miles. Thanks. Um, because... Uh... Because there's nothing obscuring it. Um, it's occluded under normal what? conditions because of output refraction. Well, that's not the, the answer to the question. Refraction. That's not the answer to the question. Why is the horizon in this photo greater than 9.41 miles when it should be at one foot, only 1.22 miles, and if he was standing at five feet, it would be 2.73 miles? Why is the horizon? Well, how much of the, how much of the bottom of those? Um, Don't worry about the oil platforms. That's not the argument. That's a red herring fallacy. Just try try again. Answer the. Let me just try again. QE Crepper. The question isn't about the oil rigs. It's about the horizon. Why is the horizon beyond nine point four one miles when it should be less than three? If it's geometric. Now. Uh, that's that's a that's a true. Uh, that's a, it's a very smart way you phrase that question, right? But thank you. The horizon. <laughs> I like it. Um, but where is the horizon? Right. I'll just put my mouse on it, it for the it, audience's benefit. It's where the horizon is. It's in the picture. You do not know what a horizon is. It's where the sky appears know, to meet the ground. I'm just telling you because you asked. Don't need interruption. Does it? It's in does the it picture. Have a location? I don't need interruption, mate. Indeed. You've asked. You've asked a silly question. Now I'm going to give you a silly answer. Where's the horizon? It's where the sky appears to meet the ground in the picture. It's really fucking obvious. Have a look at the picture. Do you see the horizon in the picture? That's where the horizon is. Ask a silly question. Get a silly answer. Yeah, I don't think I saw it. Um, which which photo is it? The one that tr the truth posted. One that says bye bye ball at the top of it. It's the one quantum eraser posted. It has at the top bye bye ball. Do you want me? I'll post it again. Hold on a second. It's going to be coming up right now. Seems like a bit of a time grab, given that you were talking about the oil platforms in your previous answers. But there we go. It's been posted again. <laughs> So why is the horizon beyond 9.41 miles when, according to a geometric value given to a sphere that you believe you're on, it should be less than three? I like that photo. There's a lot more... Um, it's a lot better than the photo that uh, the truth was posted. It's, it's a lot better. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that photo. That's you lovely. can see the, the bottom of the platforms. Don't worry about the platforms. We're concerned with the horizon. Around in circles, it seems. I'll try it slower. Rapper. The question. There's a lot of refraction in that. Your name's not Crapper. <laughs> Your name's not Crapper. That's so Chipper. The question is in regards to the horizon. The thing you specifically asked me to point out in the picture. Ask a silly question, get a silly answer. That's what we're talking about. So why is that horizon? beyond 9.41 miles when a geometric severe horizon would be less than three yeah absolutely uh, um the reason is because uh there is a uh, lack of 
refraction. There is a lack of optical impedance in the air between the camera <laughs> and the uh, platforms. So the answer is because of refraction? No, no, because of a lack of refraction. Under normal <laughs> atmospheric conditions, under normal what the fuck atmospheric are you conditions, talking about? No, I'm telling you, I'm telling you why. Um, this is probably taken in early, early morning. And Doesn't matter. Don't divine when he took it. You're no, saying no, no, no. that this is because of the lack of refraction? That's the first I've heard of that. What does that even mean? It means that um, if there was refraction, um, it would be the normal, the standard atmosphere. Standard atmospheric refraction is upward refraction, and it would <laughs> no, it, no, it's not. You're heading off. This is a red herring fallacy. Go Why ahead. is the horizon? Do you understand what the geometric horizon is on your sphere? I, I don't have a sphere, but yeah, go ahead. Um, you don't, you don't have a sphere. So, so are, are you a baller? On. Let's just nip that in the bud, QE. So you're okay, not a globe head. You don't think you live on a sphere? Absolutely not. You're a flat earther. No, I'm not a flat earther. So why are we having this conversation with you? Shouldn't you be on a sewing forum or something? Look, look, <laughs> look, out, look outside the window. Look outside Excuse the me. window. There's Excuse me. Hills, valleys, don't, 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 trees, don't tell me to look at anything. It is not I, I was flat. just asking a question, my friend. Flat. Hello. Why are you having this conversation? That's the nature of this debate. The reason I'm having this conversation is because the reason that you can see that you, the, the horizon is so far in, away in that picture is because the upward refraction that is normally present does is not there because the conditions for refraction to occur are not there. It's early morning. There's a consistent temperature, wow. consistent pressure, consistent humidity across that distance. That's why it can see so far. Okay, give me the values. For what? For well, what I'm you've just, just claimed. That, that Don't the, say for what and then keep talking. For what you've just claimed. I haven't, well, I've claimed that there is a lack of refractions. Why yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and take that, yeah, yeah. Take based on the conditions of the temperature. And you won't, you won't get that same result. Excuse me. You said based on the conditions of the morning. Now I want the data yeah. that backs that. Have you got that data? Or is this just a yeah. baseless assertion? I, I, can, I can give you that data. Give it me now. The data presumably is, you've got it now, the, right? You've based what you've said on yes, that data. Have, so give it me now. The data is, the data is that the sun hasn't long risen so you can just you can see its first light and it hasn't that. had a chance to yet change the temperature sorry. Sorry. of the air and um, what is the temperature so yeah it's <laughs> sorry guys hello it's a consistent temperature a consistent what is humidity. the temperature Reflection occurs because excuse of a me in temperature, excuse a me in pressure you keep talking humidity. endless word salad with the same thing i've asked for the values the temperature you said specifically and what was the temperature I don't care. The temperature is going to be. You don't care. It's your way. fucking claim. Oi! You don't care. You've just made that as part of your claim, and now you're saying you don't know and don't care. Why are you putting it in your claim then? If you don't know and don't care, don't claim it. I'm saying that I'm familiar with this situation. Oh really? What's the temperature? It's a consistent temperature. What between is the, observer and the, the temp temperature? It doesn't matter. Well, you're saying it's a consistent temperature, but the temperature doesn't matter. That's complete doublespeak. That's nonsense. What you mean is you haven't got the vaguest fucking clue what the temperature is. I I understand. I, I am stuttering because, yes, you mean yes, Nathan. I've asserted it's because of the way the temperature's behaving, but I haven't got the vaguest fucking clue what the temperature even is. Tell me what it is. Excuse me, you've said temperature. Consistency of temperature. I've asked you what the temperature is, and you don't know! Baseless assertion, not, mate. I wasn't there. I, I didn't take... So you don't know? You weren't there, man. So why the fuck are you divining what the fucking temperature is, then? I can ask you the same question. Excuse me, why the fuck are you divining the temperature? I've asked about the horizon, not about how fucking hot it is! The horizon is that... Uh, excuse me. Yeah, the horizon. Not the fucking temperature that you don't know when you blame refraction based on temperature that you don't know! The horizon is that far away because it's that far away. It's an optical thing. Oh, that oh definitely not globe then. Optical, you say? So not geometric, but optical. Welcome to Flat Earth. Yeah, not geometric, mate. 
It's there because it's an optical but, effect. It's not a geometric horizon. It's an optical horizon. Welcome to Flat Earth. Hey, I was a, I was a modern 24-7. Don't tell me about Flat Earth. The Earth is not flat. Uh, excuse me, obviously and observably flat. It's there because it's there. Optical. No geometric horizon obscuring our view. It's physically and geometrically impossible to be a geometrical physical horizon. As you've just declared, it's optical! Welcome to Flat Earth. Not geometric. Optical, like you've just admitted. So we win. You lose. Globe, not a globe. Yeah. It's, the Earth is not flat. Uh, you can just parrot your religion or... belief as much as you like. It is on screen, obviously and observably flat. No geometric sphere Earth obstruction. Yes, the water is flat. Yeah, because it's flat. Well, according to your globe religion, it's bending at a rate of uh, uh, 8 inches per mile squared from the observer. So water isn't flat on the globe model, you fucked hard. And I, I'm not... It's not my globe religion, and I, I don't believe that we live on a, on a spinning water pair. We do not live on a globe. Yeah, I know. This picture proves it. This, there's so many things that prove it. You can go with a pair of binoculars and a friend, walk down the beach. Then how what the you fuck, not, fuck are you could arguing, you, not, you how fucking could you not idiot? See this? Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if, why <laughs> you're I'm, here. I'm just answering the question. You're not answering the like question. Like, Nathan is here, You're the saying... only who argues, by the way. Just Everybody he, jump in. You, you were too stubborn to listen to him that he said it's not a globe. I heard him say it's not a globe, and I agreed. What do you mean too stubborn? I agreed with him. Uh, there is not a globe. Here is the evidence as if he would disagree with you. No, he said the Earth's not a globe, and I agreed with him. So what the hell are you babbling about? Hey, Misty, that you are trying to convince the second oil rig. I'm trying to convince him. I've got a show. You, you think I'm appealing to him when I broadcast a show? Oh, and then you start shouting at him and say and calling him names. Yeah, when he tries to explain a geometric horizon we don't have. Now, I appreciate now that he was playing devil's advocate. Didn't know that at the time. I'm used to fundies. Like, his role is literally flat earther, man. Pay attention. Pay attention to what? I'm not to his fucking I'm role, really. dude. Uh, sorry, listen to what he's just said, and then tell me to pay attention. Do you want to repeat what you just said, please? He said he's not a flat earther, Zinder. Well, he said many things. He said he's yes, not a flat earther. He, he said yes, he's not a flat earther. He's, he's not Did a you flat listen earth. to that bit? Maybe you should pay attention. He said very specifically he's not a flat earther. So should I pay attention to his role? He said the earth is not flat because it has mountains on it. Sorry, it could he said still be... very specifically, he just said, I am not a flat earther. You've told me I need to pay more attention to his flat earth role. Because it has mountains on it. Because it has Sorry, now you're arguing that he's not a flat earther, which is something you told me I should pay more attention to, Zinder. No, I'm <laughs> arguing he's not a globe earther. <laughs> You're Stop a fucking moron, Zinder. Yeah, yeah, Zinder's a fucking moron. Should I pay more attention to his role as a flat earther, Zinder? Because he's very specifically saying he isn't that. But maybe I should pay more attention to his role, according to you. The fucked hard moron. Demonstrating himself to be very stupid. Telling me to pay attention to something that is completely and totally incorrect. Maybe you should pay more attention to Zinder before you open your mouth. I said, he said he's not a globe earther, first of all, second of all. No, you said you need to pay more attention to his role of Flat Earther. That's what you specifically said. Maybe I should put it in the comments as a quote. So why, why do you mention... So why are you asking me something? Do you need to pay more attention? I think so, Zinder. You're slow. You need to pay more attention. So when you're telling me to pay more attention, know this. You are a fuckwit who actually is projecting his own ineptitude of not paying enough attention onto me. Okay? So you are you, you argue about the... Are the you, you, you stutter. Yeah, fundies often stutter when I hand them their own ass. I didn't hey, stutter, Zinder, first of all. Zinder. Second, you just interrupted me. 
And Jim, third, Jim I can there. repeat, I talk- you argue about the R value to someone who said you that the know- Earth is in the globe. Nathan, have you hey, the- Stop interrupting. I really was, isn't under... Uh- no. Zinda, fictish. Then there, the gentleman said, if I could have just 30 seconds, that the 9.4 mile sighting of the horizon is optical because it's there. And Nathan said, well, if you're going to go with the sphere of a radius of 39.59, then the geometric horizon cannot be further than 1.22 miles. We have a discrepancy here. Would you like to address it? He's talking to you, Zinder. I was only addressing the thing about him not being a glober. Yeah, let's get back on track. Do you need me to repeat what Tenth just said? You were arguing with him about... Shut the up. Ar- <laughs> Tired of your nonsense. You don't even know. I don't even think you know your name or where you're at. To be perfectly honest with you, he's he's come here to argue about my misunderstanding about somebody's position in their religious belief of a globe, when in fact they deny both flat and globe. How the hell am I supposed to know that? I just know he's arguing about this picture that's on screen from a globe perspective and what it proves and disproves based on the horizon. He also used tactics hey. of claiming it's refraction, just like a globe head. I don't care. If you're playing devil's advocate, if you're arguing for a globe, I'm going to take your argument to pieces. No, no, no I, I'm, what I was arguing, though, is that the reason we can see so far, uh, I mean, I'm assuming that that photo was taken just after that first light. Yeah, don't it's assume not, that. And don't, uh, it doesn't matter. Can, can, I, no, can I just finish my sentence? No, because we already heard it one time. You're done. Thank you. Why does it not doing it again? Hold on. Take that photo team. between oh, 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock, and you're not going to... We're not doing, doing it again. Photo. What part of that didn't you understand? Yeah, All right, we're not having a conversation. <laughs> not on no, that you, subject. Yeah. Change the subject. If you want to start a new one, you're, go ahead. You already I'm stated. I'm hold, on, hold on. Hold on. Tenth man, hold on. Highlander, you've been trying to get a word in for a while. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I was just saying... Um, how does the time of day not matter? Because surely Don't, that would affect the refraction. Highlander, do you know the argument that's against you? Yes. What is it? You're asking why the horizon is behind the, the platform. I guess that's a summary, but do you know the Modus Tollens argument against you? You can just say no, Highlander. No, go ahead. May I? Can you explain why the horizon is where it is in that field? Hold on a second. We're talking to Highlander. Do you want me to repeat 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 the question? Do you want me to repeat the Modus Tollens argument? Go ahead. Explain to me. Yes. It is Modus Tollens. If P, then Q. Not Q, therefore not P. If the Earth is a sphere with a radius of 39.59 miles, P then every single horizon distance measurement must be no more than 1.225 times the square root of the observer's height in feet, Q. That's the geometric horizon. Not Q because I have a photo with the horizon greater than 9.41 miles, therefore not P, the Earth is not a sphere. Over. Wait, wait, your geometric horizon, is that based on a perfect sphere? What? That, that's the radius value your religion has. It's based on your right. radius. So that's based on a perfect sphere. It's with based nothing on, on it. the radius value. Yes. With that, with, it did take the something on it into consideration. It said plus the observer height. Yes. Right. So just the observer height and a perfect sphere. So it doesn't take into consideration the. Uh, the picture why, is why over water. Why don't you over water? No, the picture is over water. Doesn't take into effect what? But right. so the picture is over water. Horizon. Highlander, Highlander. Doesn't take into the consideration of... Highlander. The fact that you're looking I... over water, refraction conditions. Refraction. Like he said water. refraction. 
Okay, what are the five effects of refraction? Oh, I, I forgot them. You tell me, Hugh. You're making the claim, Highlander. You've just said refraction is the explanation. You have claimed refraction. So what is... Are you trying to tell me there's no refraction in Excuse that Excuse me. I'll try again. Don't ask me what I'm saying it's not doing. I'm not claiming it's not claiming refraction. You are claiming refraction explains this. Not my claim, your claim. Now, we're asking you, given that you have made the claim of refraction, what your claim of refraction actually means. Do you understand your own claim? Do you know what the word refraction means for you to claim it? That's what we're trying to establish. Not what I deny, what you are claiming. So what is refraction, Highlander? Refraction is where light and objects get distorted. No, that's not the, I'm sorry, that's not the question that was asked. The question is, what are the five effects of refraction? Right, so whose question am I answering? Yours or Your anything? answer and mine. The original question was, what are the five effects of atmospheric refraction? Yeah. And did I not answer that, QE? No, you did not. Yes, I did. I okay, said, hold on. Oh, I no, forgot. No, no, fair enough, Highlander. Hold, fair enough, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fair I enough, Highlander. That. Fair enough. I didn't catch that. Now, if you're claiming you've already answered, no problem. There's five effects. Start them more concisely and say, number one, then list the effect. Then number two, list the effect through five. Go ahead. Well, he answered the oh, God. Uh, essay. What are the five effects of refraction? You claimed it. What we're going to do, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to have you list the five effects of refraction. Then we're going to take each of those atmospheric refraction effects and we're going to apply it to the context of the black swan photo and see if it holds water. So, what are right. the five effects of refraction, please? Right. I'm going to say this one more time. Right? Okay. Just, Go ahead. Right. So, right. I know you're used to coming in here and muting all the Give me the five right? effects of refraction right. right fucking now. Yeah, we've asked him to list them. Number one, then the effect. Number two, then the effect. And he started his conversation with, I'm going to tell you right now, you guys, blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. Just list the five effects of the claim you made. Right. Did you not hear me the first two times I answered that question? Sorry, has anybody on the panel heard a list with number one and then the effect, then number two, then the effect? Is, is it me? Am I deaf? No, there's there's no number one. He never started. He's red herring the, the argument. But, so he's lying. He hasn't detailed all five effects, listing them one at a time, numbering them one through five. I'm not deaf. Right. The first time QE asked, I said, oh, no, I forgot what they are. Go ahead, QE. Then the second time he asked, I said, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I forgot. Uh, Go I'm ahead, sorry. QE. Right. How I'm many sorry. times you did said you refraction? You crayon muncher. You claimed refraction. You don't know what refraction is. That's where we're at. Right. So explain it to me then, QE. I'm not explaining the what your claim. I'm uh, sorry. Highlander, okay. we, we've asked you to explain a picture that proves beyond all certitude that we don't have a geometric physical oh, so horizon. Excuse me, I, I'm talking. Picture. Highlander, we know you don't know what refraction is. You've told us and asked us to tell you. Now I'm telling you that your response to the picture presented was to say refraction. And you, like several others who've come here, don't actually know what that means. Now, had you have detailed the effects, all five of them, one through five, we would take you now through those effects and how they're definitely not applicable to this image. But the problem is you don't know what those effects are, even though you're the one claiming them as a response to this image. So explain to me in your picture, not, not my picture, your picture, what's happening to the oil rig? <laughs> the question's not about the oil rig. The question's about the horizon. So that would be called a 
Is it a straw man or a red herring? It's straw a red man. herring, straw red man, herring. and a reversal, a burden of proof reversal. Yeah, red herring, straw man, and reversal of burden of proof. So now I've got to justify something on the the cranes. No, no. you have to justify something you're presenting. Crayon on muncher. Crayon muncher. Yeah. Yeah. You, you made, the claim. made the claim. Oh, geez, I'm getting serious feedback. Yeah, despite everything. <sighs> hey, hey, Highlander. He did a 37-minute video. It's at the 21-minute, 10-second mark. Go watch it. Come back more educated. Stop wasting our time. But if you want me to explain it, I don't, I don't mind that at all. I mean, my explanation for this image is fairly straightforward. We don't have a geometric edge of a sphere for a horizon. The Earth is obviously and observably flat. Perspective is what we are observing in this picture. Definitely not Earth curve edge. That's my explanation. So, we can go to the next baller. Let's see if I can you find know, one uh, in here. Yeah, go ahead, Kiwi. Zanuck, you know what, Kiwi? Zanuck, they, come they up, don't please. Even... Oh, my oh. gosh. Oh, we want to, we want to, Zanuck, uh, Nathan, do we want Zanuck? Has he paid you yet? No. It's up to you. It's your show. Hey, I want, I want to hear Zanuck tell us all about it. Refraction. Okay. Uh, right, there he goes. Go ahead. Right. Uh, I can stretch my arms and legs again. So, wow, man. It's, it's like refraction is not a real thing. It's really funny. No, that's not what we're saying. Do you know the argument that's brought against you? Of course I do. Can you what is it? it? Can you repeat the it? argument that refraction cannot be causing... That's not the argument. That you, that you have a observation. That's not the but, argument. Repeat it, the argument, the charges that are brought against you. Yeah, because of the shape of the Earth and size of the Earth, you can't see things past 1.2 miles if the observer is one foot high. That's you the argument. i to repeat it to you. I'll just read it out to you now if you want me to. Is that isn't, that what, isn't that correct? It's a modus tollens argument. Did I just not you, quote QE? You'll have to shut up to hear it. No, you did not quote me. You'll have to shut but up to hear it. See further than you will have to miles. shut up to hear it. Talking indefinitely won't mean you hear what I now say. So the argument is modus tollens. If P, then Q, not Q, therefore not P. If the Earth is a sphere with a radius of 3959 miles, that would be P, then any horizon distance measured must be no more than 1.225 times the square root of the observer's feet in height. Q. I just said that. Geometric. Yeah, I've already said that you're going to have to shut the fuck up. If you can't even listen to the entirety of the Modus Tollings example, how the fuck are you going to repeat it back to us, Anik? I'll try again. If the Earth is a sphere with a radius of 3959 miles, P, then any horizon distance measurement must be no more than 1.225 times the square root of the observer's height in feet, Q. That would be the geometric horizon. Not Q, i.e. the horizon distance is greater than 9.41 miles, as in the example, then the Earth is not a sphere. I heard Over. it. I repeated it, and I said it in a more shortened fashion, but yes. No, you fucking didn't. You started off by talking about refraction, and what refraction can't prove. That wasn't repeating it. That was talking about something totally different. Really? I said that if you have a Earth the size that you say it is, that you can't see further than 1.2 miles if the observer is one foot off the ground. That's the same thing in one sentence. I'm saving you time. Oh, thanks. That's just what we needed. You to come along and save <laughs> us time by repeating back the argument and talking through me actually repeating it off screen while I say it. That was really time saving. You talking through me actually saying the Modus Tollens argument. Thank you so much. I'm not listening to what I'm saying. I told you. And now let's talk about it. You want to hear why you can see further? Not due to Q if P, P if Q. 
you're getting yourself wrapped up in some logic that doesn't make any sense because there is a oh, fact. Oh, really? The modus tollens? Are you going to invalidate modus tollens? No, not at all. <laughs> modus tollens is invalid if there's other factors involved. Modus tollens is invalid. <laughs> if there's other factors involved. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not invalid. Hold on. You're a Action fucking moron. Hold on, hold on, QB. Hold on, QB. Than the horizon. Just clear the air Period. for a second. That's, hold that's on. Simple. Zanuck, I'm trying to gain control so you can have clear air. Just let him have a couple of minutes to explain it. Don't interrupt him, even if he's talking nonsense. So if you have a differential medium and an angle of incidence, you'll have refraction. That refraction will lift things up further away than you should ordinarily see. That degree of which you can see things further is about 0 0.04, about really close to the, the same angle the horizon falls if you're six feet off the ground looking out into the distance. That's why you see things further on that one day where it's heavily refracted as shown by the cranes that are distorted. That is a clue that there's a heavily refractive index going on here. Wait, we're not that talking is about saying, oh, so Eden, in, hold on. Behold, we hold on. Farther than we should. Is that it? Is hold that on. the end? Lo and behold, we see farther than we should. In fact, we see about double is the distance that we should. So yes, the sphere has that geometric horizon. And that horizon is now further away because those objects in the distance are loomed upward due to this refractive condition that we using all that should know about by now. It's not that using that, lo using that logic, Zanik, then it means shut that up, we should be able to say that everyone shut up while he gives his explanation. So is there anything else you want to add, Zanik? It's loomed, correct? Yeah. So the refract so the refraction that's going on is based on this differential density in this particular day which was a day I'm aware of. It was done during the fires of LA. There was a lot of particulate in the air. The temperature was ripe. The density difference is right. So as, as you go further away on the curved surface, you get a greater and greater angle, you get more and more of a, a uh, angular change of this position of your line of sight, making things appear lar higher than they are. Now, for example, if you were on a building, that last nine mile building, you're standing there and I had a rail gun and I went to shoot you, the bullet or the projectile would go over your head by a hundred feet. Even though you're aiming right at it, and the, and the object that you're shooting does not deviate in posi in, uh, in direction, it would miss you by 100 feet because it's an apparent horizon. It's an apparent position. Everything actually is lower. Just like that crane is all bent and wiggly, those positions of that crane's structure are different than they actually are. It's an apparent shape, not the actual shape, due to refraction. And I can't make it any more simpler than that, QE. Okay, got a couple of quick questions. First of all, you said what we should see. So, what I decide I should see. Geometrically, mathematically. Sorry, mathematics don't dictate what my eyes see. So, um, my question was going to be, what's dictating what we should or shouldn't? I haven't even finished my question. I gave him clear air. I even shut other people up. I try and get halfway through a question, and he's already interrupting me. What's dictating, according to you, what we should or should not see. Mathematics, you said. Mathematics Correct. of what? The mathematics related to the geometry of the sphere and what we should mathematically see. The prediction. Mathemat mathematics is used for predictive purposes here. The mathematics of a geometry, did you say? Yeah, an mm -hmm. object. Sphere is part of geometry. And is the edge of the sphere this the horizon of the i haven't sphere? finished my question i got four words out you Look, i understand that this is very painful for you fundies and our questions are incredibly difficult to answer but all i want to establish is what the hell is telling me what i should or shouldn't see and you're saying the geometry of a sphere now my follow-up question would be why is it that the physical geometry is dictating what we should or shouldn't see, and yet we've now got, according to you, apparent geometry? So is it based on the fixed physical geometry, or is it based on apparent geometry? Which one is it? It could be both, depending on the conditions you're observing the effect by. So depending on the conditions... The physical geometry of the sphere might change to an apparent geometry depending on the weather. So the ball that you've all been telling us about with this radius value that's fixed and giving us a geometry is no longer fixed 
no longer physical, and is now apparent. If you have refraction, things, the apparent positions of things do change. And the refraction value, that's based on an apparent R value, is it? No, no, it doesn't change. Well, oh, it doesn't change. So the refraction you're going to be using is going to be on a fixed R value, not an apparent R value then. No, it's not related to the R value at all. So 7 over 6 R is standard not related refraction. to R. That's standard refraction. We're not using standard refraction. This is a much more refractive day. And will that be based on R? No. Based so on the differential be... medium and the angle of incidence. So if you're not independent of the uh, R. If you're not begging the question of an R value, how does this in any way relate to a sphere then? We don't, doesn't have to, we don't have to know it's a sphere. All we know is what... So what you're saying is we don't have to know it's a sphere for you to justify this picture. No, because we wouldn't know if it's a sphere by looking at that picture. Well, we'd know it's not a sphere <laughs> by looking at this picture, though, wouldn't we? Because you can't justify it as a sphere without giving us an apparent R value when the very refraction is based on a fixed R value. The refraction is not based on our, our, our value at all. Our, our, our value? That was an amazingly telling stutter. Yeah, it is definitely based on a fixed R, R, R value. No, it's not. It's oh, really? So you can show me where terrestrial refraction 7 over 6 R has got an apparent R value? Show me that. You don't need to use... Yo, fuck with Show me the apparent R. Not the fixed R that we've all been told gives us our physical edge, but an apparent R. Where's that? You could extrapolate that from the refractive effects. You don't. The refractive effects are based on a fixed R. So you're going to extrapolate an apparent R from a refractive effect based on a fixed R. That makes no sense. It's not based on R. Yeah, it is based on R. 7 over 6 R. R. Yeah, R. it's definitely based on R. What's happening here, ladies and gentlemen? It's because it doesn't work. He's denying his own geometry. Not based on R. Yeah, you damn skippy. Our world is not based on R. That's right. Welcome yeah, to Flat so Earth, Zanik. Yeah, not based on R. You'd be right in that assertion. Definitely not based on R. Welcome to Flat Earth. Third, third one this, third one this show. Amazing, really. Three fundies that have come along and given us our argument as a rebuttal. Welcome to Flat Earth, Zanik. Yeah, You're right. Never Definitely not based on R. He's absolutely correct. It's not based on R, even though everything else is based on the presupposition of R to prove the sphere. This one can't be. Definitely not R, then. Definitely not a sphere, then. We win. He said that to... He said that terrestrial refraction wasn't based on R. That is moronic from Andrew Thomas Young, San Diego State University, subject matter expert. In looming, this effect is caused by unusually large terrestrial refraction. What is terrestrial refraction based on? A 6,400-kilometer 6, 6, radius of curvature from Andrew Thomas Young. So, Zanuck, um, are, 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 you eating, are you eating the whole box of crayons? Now, what he's doing is he's told us that he's going to be applying an apparent R that's been derived from the fixed R that he's using to loom up things that aren't the horizon. That's what he's saying. Look, I'm not going to deny that the... I'm not going to deny that the shape of the sphere is the factor. It's not the major factor. It's really... The <laughs> You're an idiot! No, because the major factor is the angle of incidence. The angle! One. I just read the definition to you. I know you read the definition. We're talking about a sphere here, obviously. I'm no, we're not. This picture debunks that it's a sphere. The sphere would have geometry. It would have an edge blocking our view at no more than three miles, regardless of how much you fudge the altitude that he's looking at it from. It doesn't show that. We're definitely not dealing with a sphere. You being pummeled and then asserting your religious belief isn't going to wash, mate. Just saying, oh, we're definitely dealing with a sphere here. No, mate, we're definitely not. As you say, we don't need R. Can you see the chat? What, what, the, what the hell's that got to do with us not needing R for this picture? Yeah, we know we don't need R for this picture. 
we know that you've got to apply a, an apparent R to the fixed R you're using to loom things up beyond the horizon when you loom the horizon above the horizon. Yeah, we know this is the most convoluted pile of doublespeak that's ever come our way because you don't have any response. Are you confused? I can't help I'm not confused. The Earth is obviously and observably flat. Demonstrably not a sphere. A geometric impossibility based on the image that's on screen. And your get out is to say it's not based on an R when you loom things from beyond the Earth curve edge that's behind the things that are being loomed by saying that we're using an apparent R when we apply the looming to bring it back and loom the horizon above the horizon. About they, we're talking about the sphere because we have to have a change of angle. This angle it can be dictated. No. Uh, yes. uh, you hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's limit this argument. You said that that picture, the horizon behind those oil platforms, was due to refraction. Correct. What are the five effects of atmosphere? Looming, sinking, towering, flattening, stooping. Yeah, me wrong. Not flattening. Oh, did I use the wrong? You don't. Are like you it? wrong? He in he inserted flattening. Sinking. No, no, flattening is not an effect of refraction. No, you were thinking of stooping and mirages. You were wrong. Stooping. Yeah, I didn't say miraging. I said you said flattening. You fucked hard. No, flattening's not an effect. That's just something that you do in your model when things look flat, which is all the time. And in this picture, obviously and observably flat. That's what you say is an effect of uh, refraction. But no, flattening, that would be a geometry effect. You flattening out the land. Because the light bending around the sphere, edge, horizon, is not the land flattening out. Flattening is stooping. I was talking about stooping. Oh, well, then you were fucking wrong then, weren't you, you stupid shithead? Try and learn and understand what you say before you say it, because otherwise you'll do that and say flattening, which would be something that you do in geometry, as opposed to stooping, something that light does when it bends, through apparently differing layers of atmosphere, you're going to presuppose in most of the examples we argue about. But just not this one. In this one, we've got an apparent R value. Oh, God. Uh, what's going on in this picture? What, what refraction effects, please, for the horizon? Which picture are you talking about? The picture of the oh black swan that God. we've been detailing. I mean, I mean, yeah, we all know what picture we're talking about. No need to buy some time. What's the effect that you claim is a refractive effect when detailing the horizon in this picture? I see no picture in the in the chat. So uh Oh, Argument. suddenly they've got to deny the picture. Buy a bit more time, right? Been arguing about this picture for the last five or ten minutes, but now you can't see it. Yeah, just like the last guy. It's amazing how they all go through the same routine. Talk about how the bloody oil platforms have got mirage effects on him. Detail it. Try and justify it with a, a, an R that's apparent. Now he can't see it. Do you want me to explain it to you? I will. Yeah, you've seen it. You were talking about the oil rigs only moments earlier, but now you can't see it apparently because it's a very troubling question. Been summarised. The same question. The modus tollens question has been put to you. So now you can't see the picture. I see it. Oh, really? Yes. Didn't know if you were talking so about that one. The question, <laughs> yeah. So the question so, on the table, Zanik. Picture, the have, question on the table is what is the atmosphere? Do you want me to speak or not? Yeah, I'm asking you the question again because there's been a lot of obfuscation with you claiming you couldn't see the picture. The question is what atmospheric effect you say is refraction is applied to the horizon in this image? Go. No problem. In this picture, we see a classic example of refraction, <laughs> a looming effect. That looming. Is looming. Define looming. looming. We've got a winner. Now we need a definition of what looming is and what looming does so we can apply it to this picture. So I'd like to see the citation for looming. Looming. Objects in the distance appearing higher than they actually are. That is determined. No. Nope. Wrong. Oh, come on. We get over it. Oh, come on. Looming from Andrew Thomas Young, oh the subject matter expert. The appearance above the horizon of a distant object that would normally be hidden below it. Correct. Saying correct. It uh, sorry. What do you mean, correct? I asked you very specifically what the effect in refractive terms has occurred to the horizon. Not with respect to the horizon. 
you seem to be pulling off the same dumb shit moves as all your predecessors. We didn't ask about things moving with respect to the horizon. The horizon itself, mate! There is an apparent horizon and an actual horizon. Uh, no, you've got a geometric horizon. There aren't two horizons in this picture. There isn't a geometric horizon and an apparent horizon. There is only an apparent horizon that your model says is a physical edge of a sphere. There's not two. There's only one. I'm going to move my mouse over the singular horizon. Not two, just one. You claimed it's a physical edge of a sphere with geometry. Now, for some reason, you're using our argument that it's an apparent location. No, 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 that's our argument. You need it to be physical. Don't you understand geometry? A lot better than you do. Well, no, you clearly don't, because you're telling me that you're measuring with geometry a not actual apparent location. No, I think you don't understand the geometry of your own sphere. Because you clearly don't understand geometry if you think you're measuring not actual locations. Because that would be our argument. You can't measure a not actual location with geometry. What kind of fucking retard are you? Clearly, you fundy globeds don't understand geometry. You look at the picture I just posted. No, I'm looking at a picture of a black swan shitting all over your religion. And that black swan has got what you're now describing with our argument and not actual horizon, not a physical sphere edge. So you're not going to be measuring that with geometry then, are you? <clears throat> yeah, that's a very nice sigh. End of globe religion. Earth is obviously and observably flat. There is no rebuttal to your bullshit ball assertion that we have a geometric horizon when you are now saying it's not actual. That's our argument, Zanik. Welcome to Flat no, Earth. There is an actual horizon and there is an... No, there isn't an actual horizon. It's moved, you stupid shithead. It's off in the distance. Why are you saying it's an actual location when clearly it's not? Answer, uh, it's clearly not. It's if clearly were, not, mate. If you, were, if you were to shoot a rail gun... At uh, no, 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 no. We're not shooting rail guns. No need for this red herring. It's not an actual horizon. It's on screen. You've just detailed how it's an apparent position. I've pointed out that by conceding it's an apparent position, you relinquish your globe belief. Welcome to Flat Earth. Yeah, that's right, Zanik. The horizon's not an actual location, as you've just conceded. There's not two of them, one that's physical when you want it to be, and one that's not actual. If it's ever not actual, it's always not actual. Ergo, never a physical sphere edge. Nope. Sorry, we have a picture of the actual horizon in the picture I posted. Oh, you want to go to a white swan? So we have a white swan situation. Two black swans. A white swan situation on our hands, someone who doesn't understand. <clears throat> Here. Okay. Uh, uh, Sandy, how you determine the that the, the other one is the black. real one? Sandy. Silent, silent, please. How do you determine that the other one is the real one? They, they don't. They because can't. They're, they're fucked. Tested by observations. Tested by observations. Well, by observation, let's just do that right now. <laughs> oh well, by observation, the Earth's obviously and observably flat. Can't possibly be a geometric horizon. That's on the observation. It's our black swan. If you're going to claim that we've got a physical geometric edge on some days, but this day it's apparent, well then you're claiming that the other days are the white swans, always physical. Well, here's our black swan. Not physical, and it only needs to be not physical once to debunk your geometry. Ergo, Earth is not a sphere. Earth is obviously and observably flat. Nathan, Sandlick just said he can measure something that's not actual. No, you can't. But he said it. Yeah, because he needs to say it, because he's got a position where he's got a not actual horizon, which is what we have in life. But he's got a reification model that says it's physical. So now he's got to say, I can measure the geometry of a not actual location. Because that's what's happened. That's what they've done to make you believe you're on a sphere. Well, that's a contradiction well, and a violation of the law of non-contradiction to measure something that's not actual. 
absolutely spot on. And with that, I'm going to say another huge, massive, enormous thank you to all of you who did tune in on the Nathan Oakley 1980 premiering stream for hopefully smashing the super chat, join button, liking, sharing, subscribing, and all that good stuff. Be sure to check out NathanOakley.com and the Flat Earth Debate Forum to keep up to date with the community debate. Another massive thank you to all of today's Discord. Fundies have all been converted, three of them, and G Plus panels for making this after show possible. I've been Nathan Oakley, and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day!